Hey, viewers, want protection from loud noises? Can you be more specific? Uh, you know, those loud noises? Whatever. Then buy our revolutionary earmuffs! Four, stop screeching. It's not even funny anymore. How dare you mutilate my friend Foldy! Jeez! Force destruction keeps getting more and more ruthless! We gotta stop it! Oh, Leader 8-Ball, what do we do? The answer to that question lies with Golf Ball. <laughs> you really think so? Well, <laughs> any number times zero equals zero, right? That may be true, but how is that useful? Four's a number! Let's multiply him by zero. Huh? This can't be real! Yeah! It's time for the return of the beep beep! Well, that's not our team name. Robotty, you're not helping. We got 20,916 votes, Beepians. You lost last time, so the six of you with the fewest votes get to turn orange, and the most voted contestant is Poo Pooed. Clowny is safe and only 956 votes. Now I'm made up of fabricated dancerine shoes. Disgusting. Max, who's also safe? Nickel, Rocky, Balloony, and Woody! Now it's down to David and Robotty. <laughs> Seriously? The only two non objects on the team. What? Uh, objection? Four, are you implying that I'm just. An object? I think someone is criticizing me. I don't like criticism. Okay, team better name. Is everything lined up? Looks like it to me. It's time. Go! Happened. Four's gone! Yeah, makes sense! Because four times zero is zero. It's zero and nothing else. We did it! Yeah! Oh, I'm saved from the zappies! But without four, how will we know whether David or Robotty is out? TV, calculate! There's your answer! Oh, well, goodbye, Robotty. Robotty? Where is he? Robotty! Where are you? Guys, I despise four as much as the rest of you, but without four, how will we know what the sixth contest is? Well, four became a factor of zero, if you know what I mean. Stop that! There's not even a second meaning thing! Also, my name's Donut, not Zero! What those sport globules are trying to tell you, Bagel Brain, is that you get to choose the contest. Oh, wow! That's actually something I like to hear! Well, I've got a special substance that I haven't had the opportunity to use until now! Now I've got the Twinkle of Contagion! <laughs> you mean the Tinkle of Contagion? Tell it! Why do you always have to act like you're six years old? Because <laughs> I am. Donut, how does this twinkle relate to the contest? Yeah, if you so much as look at someone with the twinkle, the twinkle is transferred to you. Whoever has the twinkle after three hours is up. Their team loses. But Donut, I'm looking at you now, and I'm not getting the twinkle. Twinkle! Because I haven't said go yet. Hey, since when did your words become so powerful now? Because I've got the factor of four within me. Stop that! Go! Ugh. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, oh. Whoa! Hey! 
Team Death Pack, close your eyes. If you never see the twinkle, we'll never lose. Good plan. Oh gosh, this is a little frightening. Yeah. <sighs> oh gosh. Loser, I can't handle this anymore! Save our team from this torment of the twinkle! Sure thing! I got one of X's old baskets to protect their eyes! Whoa. Better neighbors! Get to my rocket! We'll go to the moon! There's no way we'll see the twinkle from there! Worst neighbors, don't get out your- You said you'd stop that! Team! <gasps> if we latch onto their rocket, we can escape the twinkle too! Oh, guys, grab on quick! <laughs> oh. Hey Bubble, like, let's do a staring contest! Oh, okay. What's that noise? Remember, Death Pact, keep your eyes closed. But I gotta know what that sound is. Dang it! Hey, free food! Look at me! Jeez, we're not that gullible! Two hours left! Uh, I've got some very tossable dirt! No, Marker. Hmm, fine. If you won't turn your eyes to look at me, I'll turn my body to be looked at! Uh. Whoa, wow! Dang it! Oh yeah! No way! So this is what it feels like to be in outer space! Why yes, little gray zigzag. Are you telling me you've never experienced the vacuum of space before? Nope! Well, Saw, space is fun! If you look that way, you can see planet Earth! Oh, really? Wow! Dang it, now Saw is infected with the light! And I shouldn't have looked at her either. Hmm, I gotta go. Oh great, Taco left us again. <gasps> what else is new? Ah! I'm so glad we arrived on the moon. That means the nearest sign of Twinkle is 400,000 kilometers away. <laughs> Why do my plans never work? Hmm, just under an hour to do my thing. I got this. Just gotta find the other contestants. As soon as I figure out what continent I'm on. What's the matter? Not much of a poker face, buddy. Come on, tell me, what's up? It's just, our team is so loser-centric, right? Everyone likes him. We rely on him for advice and success. I'm just afraid that, that... Yeah? What if he was gone? We depend on him so much. We hardly know how to do things on our own. What if we've forgotten who we are without him? What if we can never function again? What if we... What if... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Gosh, have you forgotten who you're talking to? This is your partner in crime. Your right-hand man. Your woe bunch co-captain, one year strong. And look at yourself. A heroic leader. The brains behind so many ingenious challenge strategies. You compute. We both execute. Ah, oh, it's fantastic! So you're saying... Look, yeah, Loser's a great guy. A fantastic guy. A perfect guy, even. But just look at you and me. We've got a whole BFDIA's worth of experience under our collective belt. And even when it comes time, we won't hesitate to let it show. There's nothing to be afraid of, Pin. I promise. That... that really means a lot. Ah, it's nothing! Now, wanna go gosh about our favorite cube with the rest of us losers? You bet! Accept it, Team Taco. <laughs> the Twinkle's trapped here on the moon, so it's either us or you getting the boot. Yeah. Maybe not. Uh, there's always a chance that it could return to Earth. Yeah? That's highly unlikely! Robot Flower's right! TV, calculate the odds! See? Hey, Belle. Hey, Taco, what's up? Isn't the moon beautiful tonight? Oh, I, uh, wow, Taco, I'm, I'm, like, I'm... No, actually, look at the moon. Isn't it pretty? Huh? Mission accomplished. Hey, none of us has the twinkle anymore! Yay! Yeah. No! 
free food. I'm so sorry. With 30 seconds left, there's no way I can get rid of this deadly twinkle. Belle, I've climbed your string before, and wow, it is long. With length comes strength. And with strength comes the ability to give your twinkle of contagion to another team. What do you mean? Belle, every team on Earth knows you've got the twinkle now. Except one. You know what to do. I'm bored. Who do you think has the twinkle now? Black Hole. Black Hole doesn't have eyes, so he can't get the twinkle. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but I'll make it my duty to find out. <sighs> One hit wasn't enough, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> Yikes, loser, I'm scared. A crack. What could cause a crack to form here? Hours are up! Clock has the twinkle, so the losers fittingly lose. I was only trying to help. A working clock is still wrong twice a day. Uh, I don't think that's quite true. Uh, you know what he means, Cake. Even winners make mistakes sometimes. Well, we sure weren't winners this time. Uh, I thought I could glide through the competition without danger, but it looks like Clock had to mess that up for us. I'm sorry. Don't forget, I'm the only reason we won episodes one and three. Vote in the comments using the letter and square brackets under who deserves to be eliminated. Whoever gets the most votes will leave the show. Um, are they gonna pick us up, or what?